Let me just put it bluntly, plain as day, and start things off by saying that Konami went full out of their way to fuck over Hideo Kojima. They wanted to spite him publicly. They wanted to spite the fans. They could give a shit less about anybody within their gaming division, whether it be those that work for them or their fans that have made them into the household name that they are. Last night at the Game Awards, this is supposed to be a ceremony about showcasing the efforts and works to the masterminds behind the video games and the franchises and titles that we've enjoyed over the past year. To go and revere them for their efforts on all of the stuff that we have been talking about, that we have played, that we have become enamored in, and Hideo Kojima was set to show up. Konami barred him from showing up in person. They went out of their way to ensure that he could not be there to get an award presented to him that he was supposed to have. This is how fucked up they have gotten. If anybody, even if you are the most die-hard detractor and hater of Hideo Kojima, all of his works, all of his games, everything, that is one thing. But there's no way that you could sit there and say, well, that was warranted and justified, and I completely agree with such decision-making. The higher-ups at that company are so fucking pathetic. How? How can you sit there and think that you're going to gain something by doing this? That's what I want to know. What was there to gain by ensuring that he wasn't there to be presented an award? I mean, you had a fucking Konami PR representative show up and receive an award for this man's genius. That was your idea. We don't want him there in person. We don't want him to be able to conduct interviews. We don't want him on stage with us. We don't want him to go and receive something that he deserves. I mean, sure, this man has made our franchise a household name, has made countless other franchises under the Konami publishing name and logo, and sure, he's also helped bring up a ton of other creative people within the ranks of development over in our gaming division, but fuck him and everything about him because, I mean, we're we're parting ways. E even though we were trying to go out of our way and say, oh, well, he's still with the company. He's just, uh, like, on vacation or something. And, and things are good, but you're doing shit like this. You're trying to go and save face. You're trying to look as good as possible for as long as possible because he is still contractually obligated to adhere to the dumb fucking bullshit ass-backwards decisions that you decide to appoint. I see this stuff and it it doesn't surprise me anymore because for the past year, Konami, out of any video game company ever in history since I've been alive and paying attention, has done such a header right off a cliff, right into the mouth of hell. Any fucking deep chasm that they could find to go even further into it, sure enough, they will find it and they will dive. It's not even like a 180 degree turnaround, it's like a completely different company. And sure enough, it essentially is. When you took up new leadership to decide to go and steer the ship in a new direction for uncharted territory that had nothing to do with video games because for new leadership, that wasn't exactly as successful as everything else that you're dabbling in. So you have been treating anybody that had to do with making your games, making your franchises, making your titles, and the fans especially, like they are worthless. And sure, I get it, it's a business, it needs to operate, but we're, we're talking about now something separate from business. This was supposed to be just a gathering of people to accept awards based on the art that they created. And this is how they went about that. They handed a fucking PR rep this man's award. 
Metal, Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain. Oh man, we made so much money off of that. It's such a captivating title. Some have argued that it's one of the best Metal Gear Solid games in the entire world. One of the best open world games in the entire world. One of the best games from this generation. The so many things have been said about it and all of them have been pretty damn positive especially for longtime Metal Gear fans. And this was kind of like a swan song for Hideo Kojima because this will be the last Metal Gear game that he works on. And this is how it ends for him when he's to be presented an award. I mean, were you worried about him coming out and saying something? Jeff Keighley went out of his way to go and say this stuff on air to millions of people. And... Anything that you may think about the guy, whether it be positive or negative, I have to go and pay my respect to him right now because you had the balls to go and do that. And that was going to piss off a lot of the right people because that's some shit that makes a lot of folks look bad and it kind of just gives you an idea of what's going on behind the curtain because we only get to see all the glitz and glamour that's put right in front of camera. We're supposed to hear what we're supposed to hear see what we're supposed to see so long as they signed off and approved it. But this is what's really happening. The creative staff are being fucked over. The fans are being made fools of and are being treated like they're simpletons. Kojima doesn't der deserve to be treated like that. Nobody who does as much for any company out there in the entertainment field deserves to be treated like that. Over, what, parting ways? That's it? All, all I want to see at this point is I want... I desperately want Konami to just fucking close up shop at this point. I'm so fucking sickened by your company, I want to have nothing to do with you at this point. Nothing. The only way I would even change my mind, it wouldn't be due to an apology, it wouldn't be due to a change of how you're going to the conduct business, no, none of that. It would have to be, you'd have to fire every single one of the fucking clowns that you've had in charge that have been making these decisions and then go from there earning everybody's respect and trust back which is going to be a very 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 long arduous process sure many people out there aren't going to have a problem with what's going on behind the scenes don't really care about how people are being treated they just care about getting the product enjoying the product and being the consumer that they are i haven't gotten phantom pain i refuse to go and buy any of your games i don't give a fuck what direction you're going in i don't give a fuck if you're just going all with mobile which it seems like you are going to end up doing such a thing i don't give a fuck about any franchises that you're releasing i don't care how good they look how fun they are, how much I'm missing out on, because I have values, I have morals, I have standards, and I have self-respect, and I also have outpouring respect for those that have made this industry what it is, and you're treating them like shit. You're doing it publicly like a bunch of fucking Nancy Pants pathetic fucking assholes. Your arrogance is is unbridled. It's, it's, a, it's kind of amazing to think that you are so fucking insecure as a company that you didn't want to stand on stage and watch him receive something that he fucking deserved none of you fucking created it he did but you're you're fine with reaping the benefits and reaping the rewards of somebody else's labor and then treating them like shit on top of that this th this is fucking commonplace within so many different industries, so many different companies, so many different corners of this little spinning fucking mud ball, this shit is commonplace. And when you see it out on center stage, with high production values, with lights shining down on, spotlighting the people that are in charge, the people behind all of this, the people that are going to task to ensure that they fuck over somebody. I wanna see somebody defend this shit so you can be fucking laughed at for being so ignorant. Hell, I'll say this. If somebody did try to argue it, I, just, I would just ask this question simply. If you were him, would you be okay with it? If you created 
some kind of a video game and you put it out there and everybody enjoyed it and then the company treated you like shit and did all of these same exact things over the past couple months no less but this being the cherry on top would you still defend it as much as you're saying you are because there's always detractors there are always people who want to go against the grain who are just so fucking enveloped within a fucking logo that they refuse to think about the fact that there's people behind the logo it's not just a big building it's not just a bunch of fucking product it's not just software it's people who have been engineering developing composing who have been drawing who have been writing who have made all of this stuff and you fucking forget that they're human beings and that they deserve to be respected but I mean, fuck them, right? Fuck Kojima. I mean, you know, he's he's overrated. Oh man, his 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 games aren't all that fucking great. You know, he's he spent too money making these triple A games because no other triple A studio has spent fucking tons of money, right? Oh well, his games are, aren't all that fun. They aren't the best either. Who the fuck cares about any of those opinions? We are talking about something that is right and wrong. We're, we're talking about a fucking moral dilemma. This is how they're conducting business now in front of all of you. Fuck Konami. I'm going to spread that around everywhere. Hashtag fuck Konami. Uh, I don't know. Hashtag justice for Kojima. I guess I could go and roll with both of those heavily, and I probably should. The Game Awards, I mean, lots of cool stuff was brought up. Lots of good people were there and lots of amazing things happen but when this had to occur there's always got to be that one asshole there's always going to be that one wave <laughs> it, it's it's not surprising though because it's konami i mean when they're brought up now do you think of anything positive anymore I think about what you used to be, how many of your games and franchises have meant so much to me, how I've enjoyed your titles my entire life, how you've paved the path in arcades, on PC, on consoles, just everywhere. How you were one of the best companies and people just keep leaving over and over and over and looking back and seeing what the fuck you've done. Other companies can learn to just see your mistakes to avoid making them outright because it's not going to work for you and it's it, it actually burns my ass even more to think that financially you're doing well your shareholders are happy as pigs and shit because all of your other little endeavors that you've been so interested in and so invested in well they're paying off for you and you're doing well financially and that kills me the most is seeing people do shitty things and they continue having a great life and smile and sit back in their comfortable chair not giving a shit about who they had to hurt in the process sure there's a big mountain of corpses left behind but my chair is sitting on top of them so i don't have to see them and i have the best view possible of this entire place from high up here how many ceos think like that and live like that too many to fucking count right so yes hashtag justice for kojima hashtag fuck konami always fuck konami anyway this is Alpha Omega Sin, as always, Nurse Nerd as in Gamers Game! The fuck on! Except for you, Konami. Fuck you.